Inquiry 1. Upon further analysis, it seems as though one of the uh, uh, the old Night Orders made a made a a show of their execution of an old cult to a whale god by tying holy stones to their feet and throwing them in the water. Curiously, in the whale graveyards, which I have visited before and a few times since, many strange stones of strange carvings have been found. Some of them look like they were, like they were dragged across the seafloor. Furthermore, the local people seem to uh, hold to an to an old belief that at a certain time of the year, they at uh, during a time they call the rattling. Everyone locks their doors and prays to the whales. This is the town of Rallin. I've, I was there before when investigating the Wailing Waters. They pray until the rattling throughout the town, that which can be heard that night, stops. Then the next day, they hold a massive feast in honor of surviving the rattling. In honor of the mercy of some ancient cetacean deity we'll have to investigate further special inquiry 2 is written they quarantined me in the dorms they quarantined everyone I've ever talked to in these dorms they say there's a plague going around and I've contracted it I am willing to believe I have contracted a plague but these people around me are healthy, at least for now. What's more terrifying is that there is something stalking me. I've seen it. I see it whenever, just when I close my eyes and right before I open them. In other words, whenever I blink, I swear in the twilight of space, in the absence of light, I can see it shambling on the ceiling. A thing that is almost a person, but with inverted arms and inverted legs, it's whose head is twisted, body is too gangly, is chasing me. And whenever it, get, it gets closer, I hear there is a water-like oil dripping from it. Why? Why is it dripping? I don't think it's a plague that's visiting this city. I think I may have brought something to this city. I am so sorry to everyone I have ever had the fortune of meeting. Because I think this is how I'm going to die. It's strange. I should be more afraid. But every night that passes, what was once terror slowly, slowly becomes something different. I think I just want this to be over. I don't want to be hunted anymore. I just want to sleep. But I can't sleep. Not until I have finished writing. Writing it down. Not in... Because I know someone's going to open these fucking doors again. I see it every night in my visions. A person opens the door to my room. And I don't know why they do it. But I know they shouldn't be here. They are going to hurt themselves. Or worse, hurt others. But I see them every time it's so clear but so fuzzy an individual opens the door there's a flash of light the air burns but it's not fire 
and they unleash some horror onto the campus. I, I hope, think I did something. I we hope all did it, something, bud. I, I hope it doesn't happen. But it's chasing me, and it came from the water. Damn you! Damn you, Carmine! You should have come with me. At least so you can share my fate. If not, at best. To stop this from happening i hate to admit it now in these final moments i can hear it dripping i have not blinked in hours my eyes they're failing me when i stop writing it will kill me but i i won't let it i have one of these new interesting devices they call a footlock it's not gonna kill me i won't give it the satisfaction Damn you, Carmine. Damn you for being smarter than me. Damn you for not teaching me how to be smarter than you. And then there's a blood stain on the notebook. There's just a smatter of blood on the next page. So, technically, I don't think necessarily the other two know that Forrest has a connection to Carmine. Not a single clue. Not a single clue. D yeah. During this reading, anytime like he's gone over the word Carmine, he just doesn't give it a second thought. If anything, he's more interested in the name of the receptionist because he will probably know that name. Especially because yeah. none of you have ever met Carmine. Carmine? Yeah. People don't we would just be reacting Carmine. to the fact that Forrest reacts. Yeah, people don't meet <laughs> Carmine unless Carmine wants them to. What do people say in this situation? It's not quite the right thing. Um, hey, you guys want to meet my dirty little secret? <laughs> is that what Forrest says? Yes, <laughs> this is what Forrest says. Excuse me? Uh, what? It just slowly closes the book. What was that, hey, that name? That name you kept reading? Which one? Carmine. Mm -hmm. He's still around. How oh, in... like the like the front desk guy? Well, oh, I was he geriatric? Yeah. No, he's years old. not. He probably, I would say, he doesn't look a day over thirty-five, thirty. I swear, if he's just this. <sighs> Flips open the door. If he's like this Ebert's Neuros fella, we're gonna have a lot of problems. Oh, if he's a fish, I have a solution. But I don't think he's a fish. <laughs> That's an investigator. Yeah. Well. One, who. What time of day is it? What time? What? Yeah, what? What time we hadn't established what time of day it was actually. Yeah, I imagine it was early-ish. I imagine yeah, it was it, it's, like, it's like it's like it's We're probably done? about midday. 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 Okay. Okay, so so I would look out the window, see it's midday, and I'd say, uh he probably isn't home right now. You guys wanna uh Guys, wanna guys wanna go somewhere? Do I want uh, to know what you're suggesting? I'm suggesting we go into his house while he's not there. Typically, that'd be I something you would say long. no to and just guide us over there, and I'd be like, "All right, but it's for ignorance." Why? Okay, break it. If he's this investigative fella, do you think he's gonna set freaking traps for his house? Um, no, I, I don't think he'd set traps for me. For you. Why are you so special? I also don't think he knows that I have, uh, are we, are we friends at this point? I mean, that's really up to you, honestly. <laughs> well, I don't think he knows that I have friends. 
Oh, how sweet. Yeah. But you know what would be good to know? Mm. How, well, about, about how about hmm what if we go and find the uh, archives about the first case he's mentioned on? Jeez. I believe that case mentioned our uh, little front desk guy, too. Dude? Could have been dad, but yeah. It could have been. Should we not uh, you do investigate an archive to oh, find out? Definitely investigate. <laughs> yeah, not, in, not investigators investigating shit. A <laughs> baffling concept. <sighs> I swear there's just more time travel again. I'm gonna be insane. Fine, time we... travel? He, he flips uh, the book quickly open to the vanishing do rooms. That. Oh. <laughs> time with people doesn't seem to be uh, a relevant factor. You know, this Carmine fellow would be better at part of a hundred. Like, there has to be something affecting him. And that guy, he points at the mention of the guy who jumped onto a fence. I think, that guy I moved. Think that I think what affects Carmine, uh, or what, why time doesn't affect Carmine, is because that man is the pure incarnation of evil. Oh, well, cheers. We're probably going to have a great time with him. Alright. Archives. Look, look between the two. Archives. Fall perceptionist. Okay. Maybe Archives. do a little B&E &E if we're feeling frisky. I haven't eaten in ten days. How are you alive? Have you had water? Nope. <laughs> Imagine you're barely standing up at this point. He's just like, ah, I'm so frail. Oh yeah, the moment you the moment you acknowledge that you haven't eaten, your vision goes blurry and your knees buckle. Okay. Uh, Finis tries to like catch him at, if he goes like his try if if, if Forrest starts to go to the ground. Forrest does not go to the ground, but he he does uh, he does he does brace himself and like do that thing that like you do when you're about to fall asleep and then you feel like you're falling where you kind of twitch. Oh. Yeah. Is that... Okay, I need food. Let's start you off with a poor or something. Something easy. There's 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 stuff out front your door. Oh. Apparently the janitors are. Leaving it for you. It's like a waffle or something. They probably want me to do my job. They probably want oh, me to not fucking dead in your room. I, th I think they were worried about you. The oh. the one who was taking my trash, who I got your address from. Who's someone else worried? Taking trash. <laughs> you weren't around. That's rude of me. They were literally Apologies. doing the job. Oh, fuck. Apologies. Uh, yeah, I'll get back to that. Just uh, I don't I don't know how to say this. I I don't feel safe going anywhere alone. Cause uh, that 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 uh, that creature, uh, that Clarice was talking about at the end. I saw that on the stairs. Like, when when we were there. Right. You mean... When we went up the stairs, and I fell, it was because I saw that. Alright, well, at least we know it's real, relatively. Real enough. Do we want it? Let, let's go to the archives. <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. I mean, just kind of like, huh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> let's go to the archives like, now. The more we think about it, the more wild shit we're going to think about. So we're like, ah, oh, let's, yeah, let's start let's, with simple. Let's, let's go, let's go. Let's, go I, I just, the, let's, do the, let's do the slightly safer thing other than breaking into 
known psychopath Carmine's house? <laughs> Forrest wants to do that because he doesn't care about his life. <laughs>